Hello and welcome to the next episode of Stellaris with me, Windslayer. In the last episode, we went to war with this nation over here. And I think we were doing pretty well. It's been a day since I looked at this and it was a pretty eventful day, so... I, uh... <laughs> I don't know. I forgot what my plans were exactly. I think maybe federate with these guys, but these guys have some enemies, so federating up with them might not be the best idea. They really do not like either of these two. So they're probably going to go to war with them pretty soon. If they win their war, then I'll be happy to be their allies. This empire down here is probably about to get wiped out by this one. I at least that's what I expect. They may be able to hold them at this point. Gold is pretty well fortified. I remember sending an army over here to land on this this planet because it has nothing. Absolutely nothing. Which means it might be time to move back into this system and take the planet that I want to take in this war. I mean, they don't have anything in here, so I think it might be time to attack this 4.2k. Yeah, after this guy lands, I'll I'll do that. I think that makes the most sense to me. is no longer on Twitch for one reason or another. Yes, mobile data should be off. And let's go back over to Twitch. It's like it reset itself. I'm um, sorry. If you're in chat and you're trying to talk to me, I'll be back any second now. Looks like I'm, I'm back here. Cool. All right. Construction complete. What should I build here? Can I afford to build anything? I mean, the resource silos are always nice. What's this? They're far away. Quite far away, actually. Hey, Sai. How are you doing? Listening post. And Karak? I don't think that would be worth it. That's my um, home system, I think. I forgot what the bonuses are. Yeah, I think since it's in the middle of my territory, there's no point in putting that there. Cool. That's good to hear. It's almost the weekend. It's nice, right? Construction complete. I need energy, so I think I'll keep him there and let this guy go there. Oh, hey, we got someone else in chat. 
How's it going, uh, Mandy? M key and uh, Mark Six, I guess. I wonder what you guys think I should take in terms of tech. I'll let you guys discuss the options. I got Imperial Strikecraft here, which I think would be pretty cheap. But there's also torpedoes and engineering. I don't think I have really any engineering tiles that I'm exploiting right now, so... Flak battery's kind of cheap, at least. But for now, I'm going to just get some decent strike crafts, because I think they're pretty good. Cool. Mark 6. Are you familiar with the game Stellaris Mark 6? Auto cannons or flak batteries. All right, I think flak batteries it is then, because that's gonna take like no time. And there's some bonuses that come with that, like um, unity. Extra unity is always good. <laughs> I'm thinking of strike crafts. I remember you saying they were good in the last play playthrough, so maybe I'm learning. You can teach an uh, old dog new tricks, right? Something like that. I think that's the saying. Nice. Sai seems to be pretty good with things like ship design, and I think I'm pretty good at things like diplomacy and building alliances so I think we make a pretty good team and just having somebody else around to help us come up with stories would be cool we've had some neat event chains like um, I think I have brain slugs on here somewhere yes we have brain slugs on some of our pops not all of them but a lot of them Not gonna lie, I really like the the that trait because it's powerful and it just it it really helps you tell some pretty interesting stories. These guys don't have that on my home world before I had a lot of brain slugs sent them out to some worlds, so there's some worlds with a lot of brain slugs that can move around. Oh, and we're also playing a bit of a mega corp. We, we've we kind of started to form this story. And I think I like this spelling better. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know if you guys have a, a better name for our mega corp. That has citizen service. Are you doing your part? Full citizenship and the political responsibility that comes with it is limited. Those who have a tour of duty in the military, service ga guarantees citizenship. It's an interesting one. And then corporate dominion. This society is dominated by a mega corp that is completely that has completely supplement supplemented the role of the city state so I don't know how that happened exactly how we got those two things working hand in hand but I guess the corporation is in, tar in charge of something like I don't know making weapons it's strategy based Stellaris is um a forex where like uh, you explore expand exploit and then exterminate you kind of are supposed to conquer everything but you don't have to play it that way they've actually 
added a lot of different playstyles that revolve around your your ethics. You can be militarist, authoritarian, think six or seven different options. Some of them are pacifists. They're the opposite of me, but these guys are actually pretty friendly with me, even though we're we're opposites. Whereas like materialists and um, spiritualists, they pretty much always hate each other. These guys dislike these guys. Who are spiritualists and also pacifists, but just because of that, like uh, the difference, materialist fools, it uh, it put them on a bad path. Oh look, I have more fleet command. I can move more guys into my fleets. I should build up my fleets a little bit if I can then. Naval capacity can go up if I get this. This could be useful though. I think I'll go with that. Yeah. It's inspired by a lot of different franchises. There's different um, event chains that remind you of uh, a lot of uh, different series, and you can kind of create your own unique story based off that. There's ring worlds, which are, you know, kind of like the ring worlds in Halo, but they're also in other series. Not just uh, Halo. They're in, they've been in books before. They, they were in Halo and things like that. Could potentially put a shipyard in here and an upgrade a fleet using the shipyard. I kind of like the idea because these guys aren't on the newest tier of shields even. I could get them better shields pretty easily. And then that would probably help with attacking this station. Let's see, what does the station have? This just goes right past the shields. There's a lot of coil guns and energy weapons on the defense platform, so I feel like better shields would probably help. What do you think, Sai? Is it worth taking the time to upgrade these things in Rashkan? I don't think it'll take too long. I'm hoping it won't take too long. Is it telling me how long it's going to get there? <gasps> That's a new feature. I was... This is like from Crusader Kings 2, I think. They had something like this, or... And it, that's amazing. I love this. Did I check on the other games I wanted to play? Not yet. I've uh, been a bit busy this, this week. It's been a fun week. If you uh, look on my Instagram, you'll see I um, went to a concert last night. It's quite fun. I don't know if either of you have heard of Hawthorne Heights, but they released a new album and they had some other bands with them. really enjoyed it. It was a pretty long show at a pretty small venue. like. How do you... How many hours was it? Like four? It's like four hours or something like that. And um... Five bands I think played over that amount of time and... It's just like... Really up close and I enjoyed that a lot. Should we go for x-rays? Combat rules? What do you guys think?
probably good get x-rays off of debris if I send a scientist around here. Oh, there's only one thing of debris there. Never mind. Haha, <laughs> nice. Cool. Glad you uh, you saw that. I'm pretty new to the whole Instagram thing, but I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I think my favorite song by them is um, "Just Another Ghost." That's my like one of my new favorite songs I heard it just on YouTube randomly came on and I was like oh, oh yeah this band I remember this band this is cool I love when old bands create really new music that still sounds good because you know some people just don't sound true to their old sound they they lose um, they lose that over time and other ones sometimes get better I find that's pretty rare. to say I really enjoyed the first two bands I thought they had like a a really like powerful like set and it's just like my type of music and then Hawthorne Heights was pretty cool I'm I've never really heard of uh, the all the other bands other than Hawthorne Heights but when I, I heard they're coming to the catalyst I, I listened to a couple of their tracks and they all got such cool sounds like they're just different. It sounds like they all got new albums coming out. I like to um, keep an eye out for that stuff because I think diversifying my channel, my content, is an interesting thing to do. And just reviewing new albums that I think are unique is a is a fun way to um, diversify my YouTube channel and Twitch. So I may do that. Like. I may look at some of their new albums over the next week or so and, and review them. Antimatter missiles, you think, huh? This won't take very long. But if you insist. I forgot how much of our stuff is like missile boats in this, this one. Upgrade, upgrade, and then move over, please. Oh, look, they just sent a fleet towards me. A 3000. That's isolated. That will probably stay there for a while. This one's hanging out. I might go beat up their fleets. You want to see the cruiser design? Yeah, let's go look at cruiser design. Doesn't look like I have anything that automatically upgrades on that. Should probably upgrade this here. It's upgrading. Well, we're getting better missiles, so we'll just upgrade those soon. Yeah, concerts are fun. 
they're expensive, but like I like doing them when I I got like something to celebrate. My girlfriend's. Yeah, she's graduating this week, and she was just saying it wasn't that expensive. It's fifteen dollars, and it's I think like one of my favorite places to go for shows because it's so cheap and you get to see some pretty amazing bands there. I've seen Andre Nicotina there. I've seen um, Phil Collins there. He was doing some like side project with uh, some other band than his normal one and it was it was cool. Like um, I think I'm just going to ignore these fleets and go for the stuff I want right here. Um, what was I saying? I got distracted by the game. Oh yeah, the Catalyst. It's just like it's a great place to go see a show because it's it's pretty affordable and you can see some awesome people. Like people just come to Santa Cruz. Oh yeah, Buckethead. <laughs> Can't forget Buckethead. <laughs> Buckethead's pretty cool, not gonna lie. I've been listening to Buckethead for a while. I mean, what's not to like? A guy with a bucket on his head? And he also plays really good guitar. I mean, the two things combined, that's a pretty good combination if you ask me. Go blow up the station and take this planet. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Ah, they got a big army there. So we're going to have to shoot that down for a while. Right? Buckethead. If you haven't listened to them say, you should, uh, you should look that up at some point. That's the kind of music I'm into. Tool is amazing. Yeah, that's a that's a great band. There's some pretty good covers on uh, on YouTube. I like, um, a what is it? Sober cover covered by these kids. They just these phenomenal little musicians play this really epic song really really well. If you haven't heard it, you should check it out. Yeah, I, t I turned my mic off for a second uh, to talk to my girlfriend, um, but I'm back. Sorry, is the game volume is is pretty low there? 
now you guys should be able to hear it a little bit. Stellaris has a weird volume like that. You can hear me, right? I think there's like a 10 second delay. Because it's totally showing up on OBS as a... Uh, you want to go to normal map? Yeah. You like this one where you can see the borders a bit better? I like this one for war because it's like this is what I have to worry about. Whatever's in, in red is, is dangerous. But this war is going pretty well. They're trying to reclaim their capital, and they're doing it one fleet at a time, like fools. Once this is all repaired, I'm gonna go fly back south and into their fleet. Why are you... go here, please. I don't understand where they're going. There. Go there. Our science ship has been ambushed. This is weird. They're not pathing very well for some reason. Go there, and don't take six days. Unless that's not where you repair. Is that not the station? Go repair the station, please. Yeah, it's colorful. You had some people working together here. When you put on Union's map mode, it turns off their original color. Oh, where is this? Did I lose a scientist or something? I must have. Leader lifespan, please. It might be time to build up my fleets. stuff first though or rather at the same time I think I have enough minerals to afford some things since this is right next to the front line I'll build um, one of those two of these not nah, three of those I think I must have had a scientist hanging out in the system or something weird I don't know where that scientist was, or over here. Minerals for energy credits. Why would we give you minerals now? That's a terrible deal. I guess they might be able to tell what my income is for some reason. The AI just knows. Anyways. It's either time to go attack whatever's here. Did my allies just destroy the the, <laughs> the fleets using this? I think they did, using their own starbase against them. Good job, allies. Which one of you needs experience? You. Go here. Actually, both of them can go there. Go to the center. And then come back here, both of you. We'll slowly siege that down. Now that they're at 100% war score, they're gonna have some pretty bad penalties. Incoming transmission. Thanks, Mandy. Nice to meet you. Hopefully, see you around. That energy credits. My favorite. Do 
we have this those things? Small plasma steel, subspace probably. Like they're flying together. Incoming transmission. <laughs> sure. Minerals are minerals. I got a couple star bases over here. But if I wanted to, I could take them out. And just make them like incredibly weak. destroying them. You know, Grand Admiral is kind of scary when I didn't have a defensive pact with a nice powerful nation, but I was able to convince a pretty strong nation to work with me. It's too bad they're xenophobes. Unidentified empire down there, huh? Wonder what this is. Maybe I should be building towards here if there's an unidentified empire down there. Annexing. What do you mean by annex? Taking one planet off of them here and our allies are taking a bit of a chunk of territory off of them, I believe. If they're going to want to fight anymore, we're not going to help them in future wars. They're going to have to do their own stuff. And um, we might actually use this, this empire here, the one that's expanding the purifiers, as a, um, as a way to get territory in the south. Starbase upkeep. I think that has the most immediate benefit. Let's, let's go for that. And then once I have the extra core world stuff, I think I'll settle two more worlds. These are still growing, so I'm not in a rush.
a research thing or something like that. Tile society research, so I should build this here. And also there. have we found? It looks like a lot of them have been discovered. There may be one in here, one in, or two in there, or one over here that we haven't seen. Um, I don't know an easy way of counting them other than just going through the list like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So you've seen 24. All the other stuff is probably like Fallen Empires or things like that. I forgot what number we actually settled on. probably means I shouldn't enslave them. There's a couple good mineral tiles here and there. Incoming transmission. I think I will get one of these here. Okay, so we did do 24 normal ones. Kind of like the idea of clearing out some more tile blockers. Just one more planet in, in my sector that has, has something that can be cleared out. I should have been upgraded a while ago, but at least they're upgrading now. to war and I didn't have the uh, minerals. I think soul is up here so there are no humans but there are pre-sapiens which I will enlighten soon because they're pretty good. I might go down the um, biological ascendancy route because it's, it's good and I haven't done that on my YouTube uh, playthroughs yet. Going, turning into robots might be more appropriate for the playthrough, but I'd actually be able to use those earthbound um, pops pretty, pretty effectively if I can use the genetic modification stuff.
We're talking about soul, which system is humans. Soul 3, that would be where humans would be from. And there are only cockroaches left after a nuclear war. I guess you weren't around for that. Ooh, they want to give me minerals for research. Deal. Bring this fleet back here. I don't think they'll take out that stuff. Just scare them off. Actually, wait, you were just about to do a little bit enough. Go back for a second. Do enough damage to take this over to 100. Now you go over to the next system, scare them off. Huh, look how bad it got destroyed. I don't even need to do anything. <laughs> Good job, AI. Absolutely brilliant move. Maybe I will go over. They sent in another one. Oh, he's he's not even gonna sh engage the main one. Okay. That's fine. You guys can just hang out here. But as soon as they jump in, you'll you'll wreck them. Build up three more of those. That seems pretty strong. You want to purge the cockroaches? No. That's so evil and unnecessary given the fact that they're earthbound. Look at that. I mean, defensive armies are really good, and the more damage they do, the more unity you get, um, I believe. And also energy credits are, yeah, this is this is a valuable pop for us. If we can put brain slugs in them, which I don't know if we can, then they'll be amazing. Ooh, we're at a hundred percent. They found a way to get us there. Now I have two years to try and assault this down. Ooh, I don't think I can do that in two years. Jerks. I was not paying attention. What else can I make, guys? Deer ban. I should have been making these guys a while ago. Let us have our our war goals, please. It would be very kind of you. Did they not take any of their claims in this? Allies, what are you doing? You got nothing down here? We fought this crazy war with them. Not really sure why they're taking that route there. Did they retake this planet? I think they killed my armies, so yeah, they, they must have. Alright, I'll just hang out with this guy then. Give him the support that he wants. Just start sending these guys that way. When 
does it force us out of the war? Take Roshkan, then I'm it out of system. Get back over here now. I don't think you can bomb that down in time. Yeah, don't let them take this. Go over here. Go help out the station. I did not start a timer, but I can actually use OBS to figure out how long I have been going, and uh, now is a, t a good time to go do that. I'm I actually thought about doing that earlier, but I didn't want to miss out on the conversation that you guys are having in chat, so thanks for the reminder there, Sai. It's, it's good that you know that... Uh, tend to forget that. Looks like the game audio has decided to wake up and now I need to turn it down a little bit, huh? Yeah, I'm back in chat now. It is daily. They give me a lot of tech here though, it looks like. Which is nice. Probably use that. It's not that good of one. It's rare, but it's not that good. Is there anything here you think I should get? Maybe that. Yeah, they're not going to be able to take that out. That's sad. a lot stronger when I didn't have a star base or a shipyard there but it can help us repair which is nice I could status quo right now but we have no gains, and what I could do, right, is I could do this really quickly. I'm going to do that, actually. I'm going to fly around their space. And see if I can actually take some of their claims really quickly. Because I have two years to try and, and do this. We're just kind of bullying them a little bit hoping that this this nation doesn't get wiped out so they can actually attack them once they peace out with this one and I actually can build more armies it looks like Helion is over here it's kind of far away but if I build two they might make it that one's too far away. Just it simply is. Mm -hmm. 
Sure, we'll take that deal. Do we not have active sentence links? I don't know, sure. We can have that forever. Probably should have held their capital a little bit more aggressively. This is pretty cheap, so I'm, I'm tempted just to get that really quickly. Unless there's something there that you really wanted me to research, Sai. If there is, let me know. That's fine. Point five is too weak for me to leave it unattended, so I'm gonna actually leave this fleet here. We have one year now. We're not gaining unity at this point because it might be better to just shake the. white piece at this point. I went for colony development speed, but I think since these guys will just get one claim here if we take a, a white piece right now, we'll just do that really quickly. We're at 100%. We won't get the planet that we want. And I think instead of making this the shipyard, we should make this uh, one of these again. That was quite a war. We fought, we almost took some territory in the end. I think since I built these, I will save them. But for safety's sake, I will keep them in this system. Pretty uneventful little systems, unfortunately. At least we blew up their defense stations on this. It's a little bit weaker. It'll be easier to fight down next time. keeping them back here because or maybe even further back yeah I was keeping them here because I was worried about um, if we 
Fleet's losing the fight, but I think we're in a pretty good position to actually build up our stuff near them. I mean, they lost a bit of territory in this war, and a lot of fleet power. They're not a lot weaker than they used to be, but I think they're weaker. Hey, there's a new empire. seem like uh, they're going to be around for much longer. Poor guys. That's what I was avoiding by helping, getting this guy to help me against this nation. They were, they were poised to do quite a bit of damage to all their neighbors, but it's been out of purifier. I was able to steal some territory off of them while we blew up their fleets, which I think actually was quite helpful. These guys really need to fortify some positions though. They only seem to build around their their home system and the fleets around it too. It might be the only way they can survive though. should build some ships and add a general. Like a, a general for armies? I don't have a, a room for a leader. I think I'll build up minerals for a little bit and then just go and build a bunch of, of fleets soon, but not quite away because the sooner you do it, the lower your your income will be. Let's replace this with a gun battery. I made that an anchorage when I was doing well. Yeah, a general to the armies would make sense for the next war when I'm at war. But I'm gonna wait for that, I think. Last time you were thinking point defense, potentially, so we could get some point defense in there. I think that's something I want to upgrade. These guys. I want to upgrade them. Apparently this fleet's Corvettes are the other kind, the laser kind.
I need to make a foreign power a subject. If I can do that, then this faction becomes happier. Okay. So if I can uplift some species and then make them into something, they'll... That'd be good, I guess. Hey, cockroaches, he can uplift you. It take a couple years. I think I'm gonna do it. Like, what was I researching? Apparently nothing. <laughs> I just... Yeah. We'll uplift those cockroaches. I'll give us another planet up here in Seoul. With some people that can just go on two worlds and just live there. I could also create some vassals, I think, if I put them on two worlds. I wonder if I have any two worlds in my space. Then, um... Then I might be able to create some vassals that way. There's a 10 there, and a 20 here. Now that's the one that they came from. But yeah. Oh, and there's some right there. Where was it? it? Brought me over here when I clicked that button. Uh, two more. Right there, apparently, there's a Doom World. You want to invite them to the Federation? I don't know if that's what my people would want. They want a, a foreign power as a vassal. Although that is an interesting idea. I probably used their pops on other planets before I um, released them. If I'm gonna go to the effort of uplifting them, I'm gonna keep some of the pops in my empire. Okay. Gene tailoring we do not have yet. Although I think that might be what I want to go for. Get that early. I don't think that was one of the options that I had here. I guess I have something, but not quite what I need. energy nexus do x-rays and point defense okay so this the, this one does good biology I think tile society is biology Yeah, we are going to just make this a giant research planet. I think I kind of have to if I can.
just like and finally build this without worrying about pirates blowing it up. Actually, let's go there first. And then here. Let's just block that off. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm glad you could stop by, say. Si. I'll see you around. I'm not sure if I'll stream tomorrow, but I might. Well, I'll stream later in the day, but that's when you're asleep. getting close to the point that I want to build up my fleets again, but I want to wait as long as I can. That might be okay. I think I can afford to build that. credits. Let's build that up. I seem to miss these little things. thousand right there. Let's see, where's their station? The station seems weaker than it used to be. They must have blown up all their defense platforms. These guys are egalitarian or more egalitarian it looks like. take too long but it's just kind of underwhelming swarm missiles are kind of nice but that would be an all around just boost doesn't take too long to get that so I'll go for it now
replace this with one of these then. Or how about that? No, energy is probably good. Let's replace this with energy. I want to make sure my energy income stays positive. Not really more. 2,000, 1,000. That means you get the Aurelium Ore. Sounds like a good deal to me. I was really expecting my allies to go through this to get there and, and steal a bunch of territory up here in, in this space, but they only got one system. Very weak. We did so well in the, in the last episode, and then kind of wasted some war score with some silly battles. And again, they were throwing everything they had at me to try and force me to to have to respond at least a little bit If these guys have like little to no upkeep, 0.5. And it does have upkeep, it's just not a lot. develop this world. Yeah, it has Batherian stone on it. If this isn't a research or unity planet, I might not need these guys on this one. Might be better to put the cockroaches on there. else is 60 percent yeah it would probably be better to put those guys on there than my own ones put some on this planet on the tomb world over here and then I'll probably release this one soul let them keep soul I'll at least make it a vassal I don't think I'll get rid of it right away Make an extra science ship around here. 
something like that. Probably should. He got blown up or something like that. Which means I might have a scientist just sitting around doing nothing. No, I don't have a scientist doing nothing, but I do want the debris. I think there's got to be something in there that I can use, right? Shield capacitors. Eh. Then again, it expires all pretty soon. I don't know if I want to deal with it. might have a good enough fleet to take on these two worlds though. I'll, beat up, I'll build up my fleets a bit before I, I take on this. It's not nothing. I don't think there's anything else out there. I mean, there may be stuff like by Ruby Swarm that I'm not aware of. Pirate risk is nice and low. Let's put them on this planet now. There's two types. There's this one, and oh, there's one that costs energy credits and one that costs minerals. Let's, do, let's use energy credits right then. And this is going to be E and M. Probably mostly energy though. It's a little bit of both. But there's no need to fortify that point. <laughs> no worries, science. Good to see you. The uh, the cockroaches are uplifted. That just happened. And. Now pretty much anywhere we want, we can send pops to. It's gonna, oh, it gets plus 25% minerals. Because they're, they're very habitable compared to us. I was just comparing them to our main species. Aw, we are enslaving some of them, it looks like. How sad. Um, they got 60% habitability for anything that's not a tomb world, whereas our guys have pretty much the same um, stuff on the first three, but everything else is really, really low habitability, like 20% instead of 60%. So, yeah. Part of the reason I like uplifting. I guess the most sense for the the place that makes the most sense for a center would be that. They're good at energy stuff, so 
Yeah, you were enslaved. I'm sorry about that. less than happy because I took him off of slavery and then put him back on it, but it's fine. The others are fine. If I don't clear this for them, they're not going to be able to do it themselves. I'm going to have to give them a really nice planet if I want them to expand properly. One thing I probably should have done differently is I probably should have put this down first. Eh, I'll come back and put it at Lake on one of the ones that gets a lot of, of research. You think I should ha keep some humans in some kind of elven empire? I could use syncretic evolution to do that. That sounds like a cool idea. I like that idea a lot. Um, I hope you remember that because I might not. And I am a fan of it, the idea. So, yeah, why not? Yeah, they survived a nuclear war so they can survive anywhere. I guess that's the logic. And our people, they see them as useful. And they like us because we made them who they are. There's just like an extra happiness bonus, 10% because they, they like who we are. We can make their pops better, actually. I think um, I need to take the right research to do that, but we can make their pops better. This guy is not a brain slug. He can go work energy. The brain slug should be doing things like this. Why have I, have I not got the next tier of this researched? Hmm. Probably should do that soon. I think that would help me out in the long run. It does take a long time to clear out tiles now. I'm not that interested in this. Let's get to clearing tiles. There's one. Do I put it there or do I wait to put it there? At this point, waiting's not that bad. I think I do want to build up the fleet a tiny bit, though.
Let's see if I go here. Apparently they're at negative one on their trait points. Even though I think I've used more, technically. I think once I unlock the engineering stuff, that will change. But that's a pretty big priority for me. I'm almost tempted uh, to abandon this research to go for something cheap and easy so that I can get to um, the biological thingy. Like this will, this is okay. I'm just a giant fan of extra leader lifespan. Oh, and we can have another star base. That's cool. Um, maybe I'll prepare this one. For the colony. Oh, and because I uplifted, I got a bunch of influence. I forgot about that. That's really nice. Super, super useful. Go here. Build up the fleet. do have limbo near us so if I get some robot pops I can get some pretty cool synthetic pops but I'm thinking something cheap like that's not in my space but it's cheap tempted to go for prosperity but my people have been asking me to get supremacy I think and dominion they want supremacy and they want dominion but I feel like the megacorp wants prosperity what does Sai feel like options. should I wait for to attack that? The fleet cap maybe? Once it says 100, I'll go and attack that. I feel like that would be an okay move. to be holding these oh they held them off they they got a piece huh. look at this fanatic purifier they're finally building a star base good for them you think repeat auto cannons after this probably be nice and cheap so why not 
I can I can do that. I think I'll get three more of these for now. Just to make future wars a little bit easier, I'll, I'll get that point fortified. points. I think he wanted x-rays. make the our ability to fight a little bit better so repeat auto cannons I don't see them What do you think about going for plasma thrusters? I think we're going to need some more owned pops, so putting that there will probably be good. This planet has a bit of energy generation, but it does not seem to have one of these. It's on a two. And that's on a two. Okay. Well, that should help out energy production a fair bit. these is going to have to go in a sector. This one's pretty close to what I want it to be. So I might put that one in the in the sector next. Ooh, size 25 ocean that I could settle. That might be worth getting now. That looks like a really nice planet. 
think eventually I'd want to move the capital there, but maybe I'll put some of those, uh, oh, it gets really good energy production or uh, research. I was going to say maybe I'll put the uh, cockroaches on there, but they don't get a bonus for research. I think it's only settle that we can only settle with uh yeah with the cockroaches. That is until I terraform that size twenty five, which I can do now. I can make it like Krith, a savanna. Let's do that. My brain select like people, they can go there. I don't think I can introduce the brain slugs to this population. see anything there. Cracks you. Oh, because I built there. <laughs> of course they claim that. Getting pretty close to the point where I feel like I can attack this. That's going to take me way over my capacity. that and then I can put some anchorage points on this. You know what? Switch over now and then upgrade. Yeah, we can't take it out. less fleet power I lose in this battle the better so because some of my fleets are they have experience I kind of want them to um, survive this if possible this one needs to transfer some destroyers I think I'll put them in here and this one will transfer for a couple corvettes, I think. Sure, that oh, looks a little bit more balanced. So 
like I don't have a whole bunch of Corvettes here. Where'd this leader go? Put him in charge again. I'm not going to attack this weight there for just a little bit. Wow, that's a lot stronger with the leader in charge. Okay. Eleven against four. There's a fleet academy thing. Should have been building with that there. Uh oh. I did not see this coming. Who is that? These guys are declaring war on my allies? Uh, what? <laughs> really? I don't know if I can participate in this war much. They're kind of far away from me. Although, I will send my fleets in that general direction. Look, allies, I hope you built up your fleets. Oh, they really don't like each other. So we got some enemies down here I was actually completely unaware of. <laughs> it's not a good sign, right? Good luck, allies. I have a feeling you might lose a little bit of territory in this war. It's because I got cheeky and grabbed these systems down here.
you want the gateway and the L gate. Well, I guess it's a good thing they got me here. I'm sure they're quite thankful. I think I know what I'm going to put here. I think I'm going to put a military thing. Um, one of these military academies once that's built. I wonder if I'll keep this guy working minerals or if I'll switch him over to something like this. Probably do that now, I guess. Some engineering here, but the problem is, is that these guys aren't specialized in engineering stuff. So, hmm, I think I'll leave it on that. We have some void clouds here. hanging out in the it looks like a ring world segment wait what don't tell me this is a ruined mega structure I blew up something there that's sad Will I form a federation? I haven't decided if I'm going to form a federation yet. I mean, my allies down here apparently have some enemies down here, and these guys, which I wanted to form a federation with, have some pretty strong enemies over here. So if I can, in a way, get all three of these guys to federate, then I think I will, but I don't think they like each other. It's going to be hard to federate, and at the same time, if I just rely on defensive packs, that could, that could backfire pretty quickly. What do you think? Should I think about forming a federation with my friendly neighbors. The thing I don't like about this is this guy will be able to send his 5k against my station. Oh, it's a 7k. Um, well then. This should look like that. Let's hold off on this stuff, because... I'm making a fleet academy soon. You've played about 50 hours of Stellaris, Lord Marshall. Uh, the DLCs are, I think, worth it. There's definitely some that are are better deal than others, but um, if you play enough of Stellaris, then yeah, it adds content. It makes each new playthrough a little bit different, and um, yeah, I'd recommend it if you if you're enjoying Stellaris. 
EU4 and uh, Hearts of Iron. That's something that we've been talking about here in, in Twitch. Something we have talked about in Twitch before. Sai's so pretty interested in both of those ones. Which one um, have you been playing more recently? What's been something that you've been enjoying recently? I think I might be more interested in um, EU4. I've heard good things about both of them. Don't tell me I went and flew into this thing with Sanon. Oh no. Did I not make this system off limits? Don't go through that one. Eh. You've played uh, more Hearts of Iron 4, but you can't put more time into EU4. That's good to know. I had a feeling since it's been around longer that um, EU4 is, is potentially a, a better investment, but then again, Hearts of Iron is, is newer, so it might have better mechanics or something like that. I am curious about um, the arrival thing. Is this in um, this thing right here, where it tells you the estimated arrival date? Is that in Hearts of Iron or um, EU4? I think there may be something like this in Crusader Kings too, but it's been a long time since I've actually sat down and, and played some Crusader Kings. in both. Oh, that's cool. They found a way to bring it into Stellaris. That's a very new feature that they, they just added. At least in Stellaris it's new. I'm pretty sure it's been around in other titles for a while. Since these guys are going to be independent, I might just put that there and not worry about that tile. You know what, don't worry about either of these tiles. I'm tempted to hold on to this planet. It's, it's a pretty nice planet, a size 20. It's, it's going to be better than some of the stuff that I'm colonizing. I can have two more star bases. There's one. And I should put one over a black hole, I think. Like this one.
Definitely not going to open up the L gate until much later in the game. Looks like you're going to go into the sector pretty soon. I should have probably thought about um, using my influence earlier because I have a lot just sitting around. Let's just go with production targets for now. I would, I think I will build some ships. I was going to say, I don't think I have some naval capacity for it yet, but in 60 days, the fleet academy is going to be finished, so let's make some of those. Looks like they brought 10k here. They can hold this position. They might win this. Sure. That seems okay. station. Increasing fire rate by 10% would be pretty good. I could use claims to make, or I could use my influence to make claims, but my allies have claims on pretty much all the immediate territory down here. Uh, I thought about claiming this one, but they may have even claimed that by now. Our allies have not claimed that. The one issue with that is if the fanatic purifiers declare a war or end up taking the system then it's kind of a worthless claim I'm more interested in actually attacking the fanatic purifiers and um, taking their space but if I win then people are likely to attack them or me and i uh, not a big fan of either of those options at this current point in time people seem to be willing to give me minerals for the things that I have in my space. I mean, I, I'm not a small nation. I have enough to I can trade away. We have a defensive pact with a little empire down here. Some xenophobes. Who apparently think it's a good idea to go on the offense right now. Bl brilliant idea, allies. Probably should take out this fleet. You can use all of yours against that, that'd be great. I'm gonna put this guy somewhere useful. Alright. Just 
just checking the time there. Looks like it's been two hours, so I'm going to pause here and do my outro for YouTube. If you've enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I've got some links to things like my social media below, and yeah, that's all I had to say, so I will see you around in the next episode.